So Marcus, here we have the aero bike, and before we introduce it, let's just talk a little bit about some of the statistics behind the bike. I mean, last year, Faris Al Sultan, the sponsored rider, won the European Ironman Championships on this bike. Statistics show that he's the most power efficient rider and bike combo. It's won 20 podium positions over the last year as well. And just looking at the bike, I mean, it just screams fast. It looks as though it's doing 50 kilometers an hour just sitting here. Tell us about this model. Uh, 2012, Ferris uh, started the second time on an uh, Aero uh, 2, and uh, basically the bike uh, was the most power efficient combination with uh, him as a rider, uh, which means he has used the lowest amount of energy to come under the top five uh, from the bike in uh, Hawaii, and we're very proud. And it shows that the development on the bike uh, definitely is running into the right direction because the bike is uh, super light. If we compare it with some uh, other bikes, uh, Road Bike Magazine tested just recently some um, uh, 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 time trial bikes and uh, triathlon bikes, and basically our bike was uh, up to 1300 grams lighter as a complete bike uh, in compara uh, comparing to some of the American uh, bikes, and it was uh, 800 grams lighter than the second uh, lightest bike, as I remember it. So it's uh, a very, very light uh, combination. And if you're a lighter rider then, and you're on a technical course, then it's uh, very important for you to have a lightweight bike. Uh, for example, if you have uh, a bike which is one kilo heavier, you are needing about 10 watt higher energy and uh, for a rider average weight. And uh, if we have a look at this uh, Aero 2 Basic here, uh, the bike uh, basically, as it's built here, weighs 8 uh, kilogram. So uh, this would be still one of the lightest uh, time trial bikes in the world. So, I mean, most customers that are a triathlete or a time trial, I mean, they have a certain budget as well. And, I mean, we're talking quite expensive bikes. But this model, uh, you've gone a different way, a slightly different approach to that. Um, the key point is um, we uh, have been very successful with the sales of the Aero 2, uh, I guess also because of the victories with the bike and because of all the technical features and what the bike offers to you. But the only thing we heard from the customers was, wow, I love it, but I can't afford it. So uh, if you're hearing this and we're listening to our customers, it basically came to the point where we said, we need to make a basic version, something which you know, a, a larger crowd of uh, customers basically and triathletes could afford. So then the idea was born to come up with a basic version, which means we're uh, taking away the uh, integrated uh, brakes, the carbon fiber brakes. So basically you're specking your standard uh, brakes. Uh, we have eliminated the uh, very expensive uh, color gene, which is on the Aero 2 IS. And uh, then, um, thanks to Shimano, the new um, uh, Altecra DI2 is now available, which means we uh, can downgrade um, also by the group set. And so, therefore, we are roughly about 35% lower in uh, price, but still uh, offering a sensational bike if you look for how it's specced with our uh, 69er uh, wheels, which are manufactured by SIP for us. And it's not just a sticker, it is uh, basically an own an, uh, own wheel. And uh, the 8 kilogram is with the clincher version. If we change the clincher version uh, you know, to uh, 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 a syrup version, then we are uh, basically another three, 400 grams lighter, so we're below uh, 8 kilogram. And uh, we offer the bike uh, also with the uh, Zeitjäger uh, handlebar and, of course, with the uh, seat post, which comes with the frame. So it's really a bike which is sensational spec and offers everything a triathlete needs. So there's no sacrifice on weight, really? The, the weight of this bike all up is what? Well. Uh, basically, um, all the uh, weight uh, is uh, slightly heavier on the group set. And of course, uh, depending on what kind of wheels you're specking, you are able to get down to slightly over uh, seven kilogram on the entire bike. So that's very, very respectable. You mentioned one of the uh, the American brands that's like 1,300 uh, grams even heavier. Just talk us through again how efficient this bike is in terms of the, the weight of the rider and the, the wattage and the power output. Um, basically, uh, when we developed the frame, we had a very aerodynamic profile, uh, which is important to reduce the wind uh, resistance there. Then in addition to that, we developed the combination of the own handlebar, which has a great um, uh, aerodynamic end. We look to have a frame which is lightweight, 
and uh, most important also very power efficient. So the way the chain stays are uh, designed, uh, the way uh, the frame uh, layup is done, it's very power efficient as well.